Now, you mentioned uh, right at the beginning of the uh, the second half of the show here about taxes. Um, what what thoughts do you have on taxes? When are we going to begin to get our always exciting <laughs> valuation of our home for tax purposes? And what's that going to look like for folks this year? Because I think there's a lot of people that are genuinely worried about you know, am I going to get priced out if it's not the if it's not the homestead? So why don't we explain a little bit about what that is too? Yeah, I, you know, you never know exactly when those letters are going to hit the mailbox, but it's it's coming. Uh, the county appraisal district, you know, is in charge of that stuff, and it's <laughs> it's sort of a time of year that either does one or two things to you: either you like dread going to the mailbox for the next couple of weeks, or uh, you're already angry. Yeah, you know, like there's, there's not a whole lot of like, man, I love this part of the pre-anger, you, you, yeah. pre-anger, pre-game rage. So the the deal is this: um, you know, the county appraisal district in the state of Texas is going to appraise your property. This is a very different style of appraisal than the kind you would get if you were going to go sell your home or buy a house. Um, it's a more broad-based, sort of general, blanketed appraisal for neighborhoods and homes with ratings like it's in good poor or very good or very poor condition. No one's coming in and out of your house to understand the appliances and the upgrades and things like that. So that's what's interesting because how do they even know if it's in poor, good, very good condition when they don't actually go in your house? Generally speaking from driving by the front and giving it a checkbox or the last time it's sold, they can gather some data. Um, There's so much to this conversation. We could do a three hour long radio show, but nobody would want to listen to that show. I don't want to do that. Yeah. And the nuance of it is, you know, well, let's just say this. The summary of it is the appraiser, the county appraisal district is going to put a value on your home that is going to determine how your property taxes are calculated, regardless of who's taxing you, the school district, the county, the state, you know, all that kind of stuff. Ultimately in Texas, you are going to then have to pay property taxes based on that valuation. Well, values have been going up significantly for a long time. There is a cap on how much your values can go up in, in one year. 10% is that cap unless you add it on or bought a new house. And then in that first year, those things can adjust 100%. Is that 10% only if it's your primary homestead residence? Or is that if you have investment properties and things too? So 10%, (laughs) this can get very complex. So I will tell you, you know, I'm not a tax attorney or necessarily a tax specialist, but when it comes to your primary residence, 10% cap, but you also, and this is where it can get really confusing, you also should have applied for a homestead exemption. If your property is your homestead, meaning it's where you live, then there is an exemption, a, a, a percentage savings, let's call it, on your total overall home ownership tax burden. Now, I'm not gonna get into all the weeds because there's a thousand ways we could chop this up. You should save a little bit on your taxes if it's your primary home. There are other exemptions uh, for over 65 and several other things. Um, ultimately, um, people should be concerned because Um, there will be rare exceptions this year to the number of people that values go up and probably go up the full 10% cap. I was going to say, should everybody just expect to get 10% I I think just about everybody who owns a reasonably good quality home in a reasonably desirable neighborhood or part of town or part of the area, the the, the region, should expect their home values to have gone up the full 10% cap this year. Is it fair to say there's not a whole lot that we can do about that in terms of protesting those taxes when we've been saying... Home values went up on average twenty percent last year. I mean, it is fair to that? say that I have no, uh, I have no issue with people that protest every year as long as you don't knowingly uh, lie, as long as you are not deliberately and willfully dishonest about that, right? So, I think there are people who just feel like, uh, you know, the government's bad, taxes are bad, pay as little as you can, no matter what. Now, just personal opinion, I say we pay the government whatever we owe them. And we uh, are grateful for the services that they provide. I'm certainly not someone who thinks they always do that at a world-class level, but the fact is that's what we legally owe. That's what we pay. Now I'm all for protesting in a situation where you feel that your valuation is unfair or unreasonable or not in line with the valuations of your neighbors. So if they don't have the information correct about the condition or size or features of your home, by all means protest that. I've seen tax valuations where they have the square footage way wrong, 
or they have the number of bedrooms way wrong or the lot size way wrong, by all means protest that. If there are neighboring homes that have sold way less than they're valuing yours, see if you can get someone to help you with that. Our team for 100% free, no charge whatsoever, would be would be willing to put together a quick what? valuation for you. That's right, little John. We'd be happy to do that. Yeah! You should be excited about that. We would be happy to help you pull a quick valuation of what other homes have sold for and what your home should be valued at. There's a very good chance, like Ian said, that will be 10% or more than last year. But if there are legitimate reasons you think that should not be the case, you can quickly gut check that at valuethishouse.com. Valuethishouse.com, www.valuethishouse.com. We'll tell you what your home should sell for or rent for in the current market in less than one minute, literally less than 60 seconds. Go to valuethishouse.com right now. Type in your address. It will automatically pull up bedrooms, bathrooms, square footage, all that stuff. If something's not correct, you can actually change it in our system. And then uh, it'll email you a full report of uh, what it should sell for or rent for. It will also give you a confidence score, meaning based on the amount of data available, we're 98% confident this is accurate, or we're only 58% confident. If it's important for you, if you're planning to protest or buy or sell or do something soon, you can reply to that and say, you know, can I get a custom valuation? And our team would be happy to do that for you. 